Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Curiosity Cafe. In today's video, I'm gonna tackle one of the questions I get most on this channel, and that is how do I change the input on my TV with my Fire TV Stick remote? Can I even do it? Whether you have an old Fire TV Stick or one of the newer ones, you can do it. Slightly different process, really easy to do. It'll take just a minute or two. I'll share it with you on this video. Let's go. All right, so first off, let's go ahead and talk about one of the upgrades they did. So the 4K Fire Stick here in previous generations had a little remote that looked like this. It's a basic remote. There's no hot buttons on it. There's no TV input buttons. Well, one of the upgrades that Amazon did with their Fire TV Sticks was to add a TV button. Now, this is a pro remote. This is a separate upgrade, but even the 4K Max Fire Sticks have that button. Now, that is a little button. See if you can get a close look on that. Now that little button right there, it's right there. It just looks like a little TV. And what that does is it gives you the ability because your remote is actually synced to your TV so you can change the input on your TV. Just like you change your volume or turn your TV on and off, you can do the same thing with your input just with that input button. But what do you do if you have one of these? This 4K Fire Stick from 2018 or even an older model Fire Stick, how do you do it? There's no button on there to press. So all you have to do guys, and this is a really simple, really easy, but a lot of people don't even realize you can do it. A lot of functions on your TV can be done with your voice. All you need to do, hold down the microphone button on your remote and just say something simple like, change TV to input HDMI 2. That simple guys, your TV will change to your other input. So you could have potentially on your Fire TV stick, you could have an Android box, a Roku stick, a Fire stick, or even just the Android that is on there. Or maybe you have a DVD player built in or a gaming system. Guys, you can do all that just by asking your remote. There's a lot of things you can do asking your remote and I have other videos on that if you wanna know about that. And guys, I really hope you enjoyed this quick video. As I said, it was gonna be a short video. It's just sharing with you how to change the input with your remote it can be done. There's a lot more you can do with that. So if you want to see videos like that, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Thanks again for watching my videos. Bye.